Okay, so I'm Philip Pooley. I'm here at the European Championships 2016 in Germany. And I've got a very well-known rider here, Peter Walters, who rides for England quite a bit. Uh, he's been five-time World Championship, three times in a row. That was 2005, 2006, 2007. And he's attended how many how many World Teams now? Competitions. Competitions. Uh, more, more than you can Yeah, <laughs> I'd say maybe eight to ten. Yeah, eight to ten. So, yeah. and uh, he's riding. Uh, he was riding today as a European individual, uh, riding for. Well, I suppose it's England again, isn't it? Even though you're individual. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Well, yeah. So under England. Yeah. Today he's come third with forty points. So it's a good, good, solid score. Yeah. yeah. So good, good yeah. start. Um. So I suppose we might as well go straight into it. Uh, how long have you been playing multi games though? Or um, I ask that? No, you shouldn't ask that. <laughs> Shows I'm old. Um, I think I started in '94, Very so good. good 20 years. Good 20 years. Yeah, yeah. Geez, yeah. <laughs> Since I'm a nipper. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what is it about multi games that uh, is multi games uh, special for in your own experience as a, as a as a sport in its own right? I think it's a good team sport. Everybody gets together, and especially from all around the world, and you know, and then you cut in. GB, it's really good. We go every weekend to all summer different venues and get together with the same sort of people and so get to know lots of friends as well as competing in amongst them. So, so you think it's as much about the experience of everybody else and not yeah. just the and not the just the riding, itself. yeah. But it's the whole all round experience. MGA is really good for kids, you know, bring them up, keep them off the streets and things <laughs> like that. But also, uh, yeah. I think it's good. Okay, cool. And obviously, you're a team trainer now that you've, yeah, yeah. you you know, passing on your wisdom. <laughs> so, as a trainer, what is that you tell your riders to, to try and be as successful as you are? Uh, I use a or lot more of, or more successful. <laughs> yeah, try and make sure they're more <laughs> successful. Um, some of them are better than me, the ones I've trained before now. But uh, yeah, I just pass on experiences that I've had. I think it helps that I'm a rider as well. So, so you, you you'd mostly do you think you mostly rely on past experiences being a rider? Yeah, a lot. A lot of. A lot of what I've learned myself from riding and different ponies riding and also watching other people and, and how they... And you take into account what past trainers have, yeah, yeah. have taught you as well, yeah. so you bring in a bit from... Yeah, them. absolutely. I'm training a girl, um, Eleanor Wheeler, in the under-17s here as well, and she's um, she rode for me in England South this year. Um, and a lot of what you know, Clive would tell me maybe, yeah. or Malcolm from the <laughs> from the main teams, and uh, and, and yeah, all I'd of his other trainers as well. Relay that on, yeah, all the other trainers, <laughs> even my pony club trainers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't want to get in trouble now over this interview. <laughs> I'm sure um, I won't. So, what what do you think makes uh, a good games rider or or pony or b both? I suppose. I think you have to. The pony's a really important part. Obviously, yeah. you know, you can't if you haven't got the car, you're not going to be the best <laughs> driver. Do you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, I think a lot of dedication, a lot of practice. You've got to um, get out there, watch. There's a very different between individuals, teams, pairs, but yes. I think good team riders, you know, you if you can go with other people, you know, relate well with them, then it works. And it helps. Uh, do you think a lot of it is the, the rider suiting the pony or the pony suiting the rider? I think a lot of it has to do with the rider has to suit the pony because every pony is different. Yeah. A lot of them are quirky and you have to be able to, if something clicks, you can tell straight away, but you have some, a lot of people have to work harder. Yes. Yeah, I would yeah. say. All right. Well, thanks very much for coming in for the interview. That's all right. It's been fun. <laughs>